Today we're gonna to be making the perfect tailgate recipe. You guys are gonna love this. At our house, we love football. And so I want to just share with you guys the seven layer bean dip that is in my number one cookbook. It's so easy. So all you need is just a can of refried beans. And we're gonna get all of this out. And then we're gonna add, oop, I think I might need to use my spoon. I need something that's a lot more hard. Okay. Whew, come on out. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add to it some taco seasoning mix. Now, we're going to use the Texas Street Taco from Y'all Brands. We're going to put two tablespoons in here. This tastes so good. Daryl showed you guys the difference between regular taco seasoning and y'all brands, and it is just so big. We know sometimes you guys can't get it, and so what you would do is you would just add one envelope of the taco seasoning mix. So now what you do is you're just gonna mix this up. So we're gonna blend this really well. And there you go. Now the next thing that you need to do is you're gonna make the next layer. So all it is, is cream cheese softened. And then we're gonna add this small can of green chilies chopped. And we have drained the juice off of this just a little bit. We're just gonna add this. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the beans that are on this off, but it's okay if it's mixed up a little bit in that cream cheese because, oops, throwing it around. Because it's all gonna be mixed up anyway. Okay, so we're gonna come over here and mix this up really well. my beaters a little bit so I'm just going to get this off of the beater and I'm going to set this over here for just a second and then I'm just going to kind of scrape the sides and get it down there so that when I do turn on the blender the mixer I'll be able to get it to really blend up well That looks great. So next, what you do is we're just going to start layering this. And so I found at Hobby Lobby this cute little tray. And so we're going to just start layering. So we're going to put our refried beans down first. I'm gonna come back here Ooh. and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna get the inside of that bowl. That's a lot of goodness in there. Okay, then we're just gonna spread this out. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna take it all the way to the sides because I'm gonna put the chips on either side because I think that will look so fun. So you just spread this out. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. And you can double this recipe if you want. If you are like a big, if your family loves dips, 
you could double this recipe so easy. All right, so this is our first layer. Next, we're just gonna add that cream cheese layer. And honestly, um, it's a little bit lumpy. And the reason why is because I forgot to set out the cream cheese earlier, but it's still gonna taste so good. So if, it's, if you want it to be a little bit more smooth, all you just need to do is just remember to take out your cream cheese a little bit earlier. So we're gonna add this to the top. And then, of course, I'm gonna spread that out. So we spread this. Now you guys have learned, especially during that week that Daryl was cooking, he, he loves so much hot and so much flavor. This is one of his favorite things. All right, so you've got your base of your seven layer dip. So now really you can add whatever you want. We like to add just one cup of like the thick and chunky salsa. So you put this on the top. We're gonna spread this out a little. All right, and then you just put whatever toppings that you love. Like I'm gonna be putting some lettuce. I'm gonna start that first. I went ahead and just bought the pre-shredded lettuce. It makes your life so much easier. So you're just gonna put this out. And then I'm gonna add some cheese. We love olives at our house. If you don't love olives, you don't have to put olives. So here we've got some cheese. I'm gonna put these olives. If you have like family members, like half of them like olives and half of them don't, just put half, some on one side and some on the other. That works too. Okay, that's good, right? And then we've just taken a tomato and we've diced the tomato and we're just gonna put this on the top. Doesn't that look so delicious, you guys? Oh my gracious, okay. So there you go. And then to make it pretty, I just decided to pick up the lime chips because I thought it would add more flavor. And so you can just put this around like this. Oops. Don't want to lose a chip. And look how fun this is. This is like the perfect, easiest dip that you will ever make. And it's so good. It's in my number one cookbook. And now I'm gonna try this because I know it's gonna taste delicious. Wish all of you guys were here. Mm. That is so good. You guys will love that. All right. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much for sharing and liking my videos. I appreciate it so much. Um, remember, again, this is in that volume one cookbook. We are having a sale on this cookbook. Um, through Labor Day, there will be free shipping. So just wanted to let you guys know that. Excited about football this weekend. You guys have so much fun watching those games. We'll be cheering on the Knowles this weekend. And finally, always remember to be stronger every day and do hard things. I'll see you next time.